Today I'll be making roti. What I have here, three cups of Fiji flour and I have three tablespoon olive oil. We're gonna go ahead and add olive oil to our flour. Then we have two cups of hot water here. We're not gonna use all the water. We're just gonna pour little by little as needed. So we're gonna go ahead and mix our oil and our flour together. And we are we adding more water to it. Like I mentioned earlier, we're gonna do as needed. So we're not gonna add all together. We're gonna do little by little. Okay, we're still mixing mm -hmm. and we're gonna make sure that we use it we can use our hand because it's much easier once the um, the flour or the dough has cooled down because it's hot water we're using here we use our hand to make one big dough all right now we are getting pretty big dough here so what we're gonna do is separate our dough from our loose flour I'm going to go ahead and take it out and put it on our board there and we're going to go ahead and do more, more of the same thing, add water and make more dough out of the rest of the flowers which is remaining in our bowl here. Now we're going to go ahead and add our rest of the dough that we took out earlier and we'll mix it back with our dough in our bowl here. Now mix them all together. If you make a fist and press on the dough, it will mix well. The more you press, the more softer it's going to get. It's almost the same way you're making a pizza dough. Your dough has to be nice and firm and soft. I'm going to add more oil to our dough here so it doesn't get sticky. It's more olive oil there. I'm going to add to our dough here and press again. Our dough is ready. We're gonna set this aside for about 10 to 15 minutes before we roll our dough to make roti. Now we're gonna roll our dough, make a big loaf type, and then make one small dough out of it. Just do like a ball. You have to use your hands for this. What I have here is small balls. We press a little bit in the middle of our palm to make it a little flat so we can roll this easy. And also we have to have a hot plate to make our roti. On the side you have to have a little plate to put your roti once it's done. You can add your paper towel to it so you can soak any remaining oil or butter. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take one dough out of there. Just add a little bit dry flour. Then we're gonna go ahead and start rolling. The reason we put dry flour, so make sure you don't stick. It comes out nice and brown. You don't have to be perfect, just do the best you can. A medium size would be just perfect. It's the same thing as you're making puri, but the roti is a little bigger than puri. And you can um, start doing the ends too, make sure you press the ends and the middle too, so it cooks well. All 
Alright, our hot plate is ready. We're gonna go ahead and add our roti to our hot plate. And wait till it's get a little bubbly there. give a minute to less than a minute to it you don't have to use your hand because it's very hot plates you can use a spatula and once we turn this you can see little brown bubble brown bubbles there that means it's just halfway done not quite so now I'm going to cook the other side has to be medium heat, not too high, not too low. And turn again. Coming up perfect, if you notice that. And getting a little puffiness too. If you get a little puffiness like that, that means your dough is very, very firm and soft. So that means it's very good. Do one more turn here. We're going to do two types of roti, one with butter. You can use butter or ghee, depends on your taste. So we're going to do one with butter and then we're going to do one without. Our roti is done. We step aside and put our roti back there in our little tray there. And we're going to start another one with butter. Now we're going to go ahead and make roti with butter. So we're going to just wait till it comes out on the other side. Get a little bubbly here. It's almost the same way we did the first one. Once you notice the other side's a little bubbly there, so that means we can go ahead and turn this. Wait for maybe less than a minute till the other side's done. Go ahead and add butter on this side. We're using a small brush that we use for cooking. Do a turn here. Then use butter on the other side. another turn. This is our last turn. After this, we are done. Came out perfect there. Delicious looking roti. I'm going to add it to our plate here and we're ready to serve. My roti is done. If I do a close-up, you can see it came out perfect. Very delicious looking. Nice and soft. And I'm serving my roti with cilantro chutney, lentil soup dal, and I have eggplant, tomato and potatoes here, curry, delicious looking, totally vegetarian thali for any occasion. Thank you very much for watching.